I need you guys to hear this. Victimization is not cute. It's not cute, honey. We can stop the act. Victimization is only going to further delay your process of getting what you want out of this life. And I'm telling you, it's really not cute. I mean, think about all the times that you see someone and they're pouting or they're throwing a fit or they're just saying how sorry they feel for themselves and they, they play the victim, right? Like how bad do we feel for them? I don't, <laughs> I don't feel bad for anyone playing a victim to their circumstances, playing a victim to, to what someone else said about them, playing a victim of where they aren't in their life. I don't feel sorry for that person because you have to get tough or life is gonna make you tough. So if you right now think that playing the victim is going to get you any farther in this life, it won't. It's only delaying your process. I mean, go back to the would you mentality that I think I did in video two or three, where I said, would you hire you right now? Would you date you right now? Would you be your friend right now? We have to get out of this victimization mode and think that it's going to help us where people will feel sorry for us that they want to do things for us. Because I'm telling you, that's not the way the world works. I could have played a victim so many times in my life. So many times. I could have been a victim to my parents' mental illness. I could have been a victim to my mother's suicide. I could have been a victim to my divorce. I could have been a, vic a victim to my toxic relationship, but I never once wanted anyone to feel sorry for me. I sucked it up. I reflected and I looked back at the choices that I made, that I was responsible for. Because one of the things that you really got to learn how to do is learn to acknowledge and take responsibility for your life. You have a role to play in your life. As much as you think that people are doing things to you and life is happening to you, and everything comes crashing down on you, you have a role to play in that. And that could go as deep as your beliefs, as your thoughts, as your subconscious beliefs, beliefs as your limiting thoughts. So you have a role to play in your life a very strong role, obviously. You're the main character in your life. What other people do to you, that is just an experience or a lesson and you need them both. Every decision, everything, every time something happens to us or someone does something to us, that is an experience or a lesson and we need them both. It's not an excuse to play the victim. Woe is me, feel sorry for me. If you've been doing that and you look around your life right now and you're like it hasn't really worked out so well for me thus far I mean maybe maybe it will eventually you're wrong so again in a previous video no one is coming for you no one is coming to save you nothing is coming to save you you are to save you you are to accept what is going on in your life Take full responsibility for everything. When you take extreme ownership of even someone that did something to you, that shows power. That shows strength. That is being tough. And we're not cowering down. We're not shrinking ourselves down to what other people have done to us. Right? Right. You also can't really attract things in your life that you want in victimization mode. You can't. You can't pity yourself, what was me yourself, to what you want. It's only in the turning around of things and being a victor and not a victim that you will get what you want in this life. So stop playing the victim. It's not cute. It's not. If I would have played the victim, I would not be making this video right now because I'd be sitting in bed, feeling sorry for myself, wanting the world to change and bend down for me. It's not how it works. So a couple of ways to get out of victimization mode. 
first off, maybe just write down all the ways it's helping you. Are all of these people coming to your aid and being like, how can I help you? We feel so sorry for you. How can we help you get the life of your dreams? How can we help you find the man of your dreams? How can we help you get the job of your dreams? Like write down all the ways it's actually helping you. That's number one. Number two, fully accept your life. Take extreme ownership of it. Otherwise it's gonna take extreme ownership of you if it hasn't already. And then you just gotta backtrack. And I'm telling you, it's much easier to prevent than to go back and reverse. Then you're going to acknowledge and take full responsibility for your life, your actions, the role that you have been playing in your own suffering. You are playing a role in your own suffering. So the sooner you acknowledge that, and the sooner you say, you know what? Like that person might have done that to me, but in a way, I allowed that to happen. That thing might have happened in my life, but in a way, I didn't set the correct boundaries to prevent it from happening. So take responsibility for your life right now. Take extreme ownership, take responsibility of the role that you're playing in your own suffering. Three, just be aware, the three A's. Be aware, be aware of your thoughts. Are you being in victimization mode? Are you feeling pity for yourself? Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Woe is me, this never works out for me. It only works out for that person. Like thoughts turn to things. Remember that thoughts turn to things. So the more you think something, the more it's likely to happen. So being aware of your thoughts, being aware of your emotions, being aware of your behaviors, being aware of your reactions. And this goes back to, if you are aware, you don't have to take responsibility for things that people did to you because they won't happen. So be aware of your boundaries, be aware of your self-talk, of your thoughts, behaviors, reactions, everything. The three A's, accept where you are right now, know that it's okay, you can turn it around, I promise you, but you have to start today. Acknowledgement, be, be responsible for the role that you're playing in your life. Even if other people are obviously impeding and in your life, you are responsible for it at the end of the day. And number three, just be aware of your self-talk. If you notice a negative thought coming, like the last video, or maybe the, last, the second to last about my mind tricks, you introduce new thoughts right there in the moment. We gotta get out of this victimization mode. It's not cute. No one feels sorry for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you think they are, they're lying to you or eventually they're gonna fade away after they're around you for so long and your negative energy. No one wants to hang around someone that feels sorry for themselves. Pick it up, get into gear.